Hello friends, this video on structure of atom part 10 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 9. So as I told, the Rutherford atom model was not the perfect one, it had limitations. So here also you can see, once this guy Rutherford has given this model, scientists observe atomic spectral emission lines. I'll, I'll tell you what is that in the next slide. They observe this atomic spectral emission lines and Rutherford didn't have any answer how this lines came. It's totally speechless. Also, he told that uh, we have something called uh, nuclei here, positive charge and we have electrons revolving around us. Then the question was how can atom be stable? Since it is electron and has a charge, right? When this guy revolves around, there's an acceleration because it's changed the direction, the electron change the direction, there's an acceleration and electromagnetic radiation has to emit because according to Maxwell, any charged particle, any charged particle, when accelerated, it emits electromagnetic radiation or electromagnetic waves. So with that, if you see, it, the energy will be lost and finally electrons should go and meet the nuclei and the atom should shrink, but that's not happening. So the Rutherford model could not tell much about the stability of the atom and it won't take much time, I think 10 to the power minus 8 seconds it will take for electron to jump to atom if uh, the Maxwell is correct, the Maxwell was correct, he has proved that. So the model is not correct. Obviously, right? The first thing was the spectral lines were observed by scientists, the chemists and physicists, but nobody has, the Rutherford didn't have an answer why this spectral lines came. Also, the stability of the atom was a big question. Scientists debated a lot on this, why the electron is not going and um, merging with the nuclear. So those questions were there and these are the limitations of the um, Rutherford model. Also, the Rutherford model didn't say anything about the electronic structure of the atom. There was absolutely no discussion about the electronic structure of the atom because atom will have different protons, electrons, electrons, protons were known, but the atomic structure were not known, right? So this had its own limitation. Also, the dual character of electromagnetic radiation that was a fashion that time. That was a fashion that time because this was a time when the dual character of electromagnetic radiation was talked about. It could not be explained with the Rutherford model. Rutherford model could not explain the dual character of electromagnetic radiation. So the spectrum of radiation emitted by a substance that has absorbed energy is emission spectrum. Any substance which absorb energy that emit a spectrum. And the atoms, molecules or ions that have absorbed the radiations are excited. If they are excited, they will emit some spectrum lines and then again they will be stable. That's what was observed. So what to produce this emission spectrum, what this guy or the, the chemist or the physicist around the world they did was at that time, they heated any substance, any substance and most of the substance and then they had a slit through which the radiation will go so that you, you make sure that you pass only uh, small radiation for observation and then you pass that into a prism, right? Generally, if you find, pass a white light, you'll see a whole band of color, with GR color. But in this case, they observe only these three, four lines. And these lines we call spectral emission lines. You take any uh, metal, you excite it or uh, heat it or you have any gas discharge tube. So you can use any of these. You have this thing. And from this, they have the slit and uh, they pass this guy, the prism, and they, see, they saw this. And people were zapped, how, this, how come this is possible? How come we have only four lines or five lines? How come this is not continuous? These questions were something which is unanswered by Brother Ford. I hope you understand with spectral emission lines, you have um, any substance, you heat this, and then you, whatever rays or um, spectrum you get, you just pass through prism, please note, Prism is mandatory here because if you don't have prism, it won't. Because what prism does is, right, every uh, light has different velocity, so it deflects the light based on the velocity, right? And then uh, in the medium, the velocity changes, and thus you see the lines get separated. I hope you must have learned this in class 10. If not, 
watch the class 10 videos you'll understand how the prism works it just uh, breaks the white light into uh, all those uh, colors here also it broke this uh, spectrum into they found only four spectrums five spectrums and they zapped how come this came and thus for this uh, again the chemists and physicists around the world struggled to find the answer and they found the answer so i'll explain what the answer is but till now nobody the answer till now 1900 era people know there's something called atom and they have a vague idea of the structure rutherford gave an atom model but that is not full proof correct they know emission spectrum lines and they don't know how it came and they have they know about the dual character of p but they don't know much about it and the study of emission spectra is called spectroscopy just for example perspective somebody asked what is spectroscopy can tell that study of emission or absorption spectra is called spectroscopy we'll take uh, we'll do two or more slides on this you can see one more uh, emission line it need not be very uh, less it can be more dense also thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again